nation's largest airports are considering using a new technology that could help prevent dangerous bird strikes. NBC's Tom Casello is at Reagan National Airport with more on this story. Hey, Tom, good morning. And good morning. You know, airports around the country are trying to mitigate the bird threat. Now some are turning to bird radar. Boston, At Boston's Logan Airport, it's a constant balancing act. Right, the 400,000 flight operations each year and the birds who stage their own flight operations. Five zero four Mike Sierra, Boston Tower. Last year, Boston reported 61 bird strikes and many more close encounters. We're going to be it was just six months ago that yeah, a flock yeah, of Canada geese took out both engines on a U.S. Airways plane, forcing it into the Hudson River. And two weeks ago, 40 birds forced an emergency landing in Baltimore. Now, Boston is testing a new technology. This is a standard system that we build for the military. Sitting between runways 27 and 33 left, Merlin is scanning the skies for birds. Gary Andrews is the CEO of Detect Technologies. We have a horizontal radar that is tracking bird movements three, uh, four to six miles around the airport, and then a vertically spinning radar that's covering the approach and departure corridor. The bird count is then superimposed over an airport layout. Each of these green dots are actual birds moving around on and on and around the airfield. On this day, the risk is low, but heavier bird patterns like this, this would trigger an alert in the tower where controllers could give pilots the warning they need. Here at Logan Airport, they've identified 50 species of birds, and they're not only worried about Canada geese, ducks, and eagles, but also small European starlings. A flock of them could inflict serious damage. Sitting right on Boston Harbor, Logan attracts large migratory flocks each year. It's a major issue. And I think that uh, that's why we want to test the technology here so that we can help mitigate that uh, in every instance. Most bird strikes occur within 500 feet of the ground when a plane is taking off. Now with the bird population soaring, the question is whether they deserve their own radar. Boston isn't alone. Several airports are testing this bird radar system. NASA and the Air Force and already use it. Back to you. We're outside. Tom. Now